After all the restaurants you've been to, all the different sandwiches you have eaten around this state, do you consider yourself kind of a connoisseur now? No. Not really, but I'm an aficionado. <laughs> Maybe. I, I don't know if I'd go there, but I do love sandwiches. But I have to tell you, I like them with a lot of stuff on them. I don't like those thin sandwiches. And a big old Dagwood sandwich. Exactly. Our uh, associate producer, Mickey Galloway, suggested when we did this story that we say something really cheesy about our next location, but she meant that literally. Uh, absolutely. They do serve up these wonderful gourmet grilled cheese sandwiches and a lot more. And I love the name of the place. It's called The Mule. Who doesn't love a juicy grilled sandwich? Better yet, a grilled sandwich with cheese. The folks behind the Mule restaurant actually started out with a grilled cheese concept, but it evolved from there. What I tell people is we do hot melt sandwiches. Um, all our sandwiches come out hot, they're all grilled, they're all involved melty cheese things, but we also do a lot of fun stuff, like we have a sandwich with um, pulled pork, macaroni and cheese, American cheese, all on the sandwich. So kind of different stuff like that. We do a really good take on a uh, BLT. We do a BCLT, which is bacon, cheese, lettuce, tomato. It has Swiss and Gouda on it. And with every sandwich, you get a side. They do onion rings and french fries. They have salads and also have a fresh seasonal side that rotates in and out, something to balance out the grilled cheese. It could be a quinoa salad or fresh rice dishes with local roasted vegetables. And they always have tomato soup. And what's more American than grilled cheese and tomato soup? Having been open since September of 2012, as is always the case in restaurants, one dish has emerged above the rest. The signature item would have to probably be the fried, deep fried Watonga cheese curds. If you're familiar with cheese curds, they are the product right before you get to cheese, so they're kind of a harder round product, and so we take those, deep fry and beer batter in those, you just can't be deep fried cheese. It's a hard thing to do. Word of mouth has spread quickly about this place, so much so that the mule has already won an award. In the Oklahoma Gazette, they were voted best sandwich shop and also best new restaurant. The mule, wait, before we go further, let's talk about where the name came from. The name comes from uh, one of my partners, uh, Joey's grandfather. He used to say, don't worry about the cart, just load the mule. And that was kind of our theory going into, going into the restaurant. We were like, well, we can't worry about what we're taking on. We're not going to worry about if it's going to work. We're just going to load up the mule and see where it, see where it takes us. And it's taken us almost a year down the line. And, and it's been good to us. The Mule is open for both lunch and dinner. Lunch is a little faster service, but for dinner, things slow down a bit. One of the more unique things about the restaurant is they have a leave a drink board where regulars can, well, leave each other drinks. But regardless of the meal service, you'll always find an easygoing atmosphere. Uh, it's a fun place, it's relaxed. Um, we've got a really colorful, fun staff, and I think we have something to please everybody. Um, but I think it's just something a little different that you might not experience anywhere else in the city right now. So that's what we like. That's what we're trying to do.